Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Leo Kormanik with Ohio Sports Chiropractic. Again, we're doing some uh, videos here for some exercises for high hamstring issues. Uh, very common in distance runners, uh, very common overuse injury. Um, this one is called a, a single leg Romanian deadlift. Uh, basically, but we're going to change up the style here so that we're targeting the high part of the hamstring and we're targeting it in such a way that it's going to strengthen it. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to stand nice and tall. Um, you're going to kind of get to a running man's pose. So again, we're going to work the right leg here. And what you're going to do is you're going to lock out your core and everything from your head down to your torso should keep, be kept straight. Now you're going to want your knee bent at about five to 10 degrees. So just a light little bend through the knee. The idea behind this is I don't want to lock out the hamstring behind the knee. I want to lock out the hamstring at the high part of the hip. I more focused on hip flexion forward rather than through the knee. So you want a slight little bend through the knee to mimic landing with running. Okay. So when you're here in this position, what you're going to do is you're going to slowly elongate the tendon by keeping the knee bent, but slowly dropping down to hip flexion and like this. And when you get kind of far out, you can reach out your arms to add a little bit more resistance and to help with counterbalance. And then, then you're going to return back a little faster. All right. So now if you see, I can't go all the way to 90 degrees. And again, the amount of range of motion here is not necessarily what I'm after because like the other exercises, you're going right to a point of tension and you don't want to push past a point of pain. So say if I do the exercise, I get pain right here. I'm stopping at that point and then I'm coming back. Okay. Now, again, to reiterate before I should demonstrate it again, the point here is a long sustained hold on the tendon. So the slower you go into forward flexion through the hip, the more you're going to really target the hamstring tendon. Okay, so it's not about going here quick and then returning. The speed of this is really the, the, where, where the, um, the important, the speed is really the importance of this. So what you're doing here, so to demonstrate a full one, over the course of 15 seconds, you know, 15 to 20 seconds, like annoyingly slow, you're going to keep the knee bent and you're going to take this to a point of tension and then you can even reach out your arms to add a little bit of counterbalance and resistance. And then that's my point of tension right there. And then I'm going to return back to neutral. All right, and that's going to help strengthen the size of the tendon, which will help get you over the injury much quicker. Thank you.